These peas have some sort of blight on them. They're not going to mature. Last week it was the grapefruit, and the week before, the carrots. It's getting worse. We're going to be living completely on synth food the last week. At least we have the synth food. I don't trust it. Keep inspecting the garden carefully. Though the fig tree does not bud, and there are no grapes on the vines. Though the olive crop fails, and the fields produce no food. Though there are no sheep in the pen, and no cattle in the stalls. Yet I will rejoice in the Lord. I will be joyful in God my Savior. You said there was a message? I've got some more bad news. Have a seat. Your mom just went home to be with the Lord. The funeral will be next week. She didn't know that she was ill until last month, and she didn't want to worry us. Will we be close enough for a video link? There is still about a four and a half minute delay, but you should be able to watch the service without any interruptions. They won't be able to see us, however. It's probably best this way. <laughs> Are you alright? It was a beautiful service. Dad read some of her first letters to him. I didn't know that he still had them. I wish I'd been half as intelligent and mature as she was as a teenager. Then several friends spoke, and Ron, my brother Ron, the man who never wanted anything to do with Mom's religion, he testified of her love for the Lord without being pretentious. It's been so long since I've seen Ron sober. I'll miss her, but she's much better off with the Lord. She's been in a lot of pain, but she never let anyone know it. If only I can have the testimony she has. That's wonderful. Would you like some good news? Uh, the shock of something new and different might kill me. You know that new things always take some getting used to. Don't you care about the health of your poor wife? I might just keel over from the shock. Why don't you come over here and look at this and stop talking? You sold it! The entire load to one buyer? And this is to a wholesaler. It's a locked floor price. Could be even more when we dock. Why? H how come? I mean... What would justify this? That bothers me, too. We've neglected the news. We haven't even bothered to store the free stuff. How much will we have to pay for oxygen the next trip? How about a new garden? And another suction tube? Victor didn't have prices for all that. But he said he could get them for us for less than we paid going out. Victor? Victor Lattimore? Victor Lattimore is our jobber? Why do the royals want to buy our methane? And why are they willing to sell to us? Maybe it's nothing more than the fact that we succeeded where they failed and they won on the bandwagon. The royals would do that, but not Victor. We're way too small for him. Did you make the deal with Victor personally, or just with his office? With Victor personally. He called us, and when he called, he knew about your mom. That's not the same Victor I dated 25 years ago. The Lord can work in anyone's heart. Maybe he's changed. Do you mistrust him? He's trustworthy. It's just that he's married to the Empire. Not that that's such a bad thing. But he's not the least bit interested in anything that isn't furthering the Constitutional Empire. When we were trying to go outbound, that didn't include us. We need to find out what changed. Did you even check on the current market price of methane? Victor was the first one to call, and his price was so good that when he offered to do all the service work, I didn't even care what other jobbers would give us. What do you mean, do all the service work? This price includes docking at the Royal Base on Deimos. While we take a two-week break, they will begin re-outfitting the Sojourner. Then we must spend two weeks training some Royals for a few balloons they've built before we leave again. The Royals have built their own balloons? That's a switch. I can still remember Sir Kramer saying, We don't see any immediate need for new fuel sources. We can't stop you from going on your own. But remember, you're on your own. Did Victor even give you any hints as to the change of heart? Nothing. The only thing I noticed was that he wasn't his old chipper self. Something was eating at him. Did you make a firm deal or just an intent? Oh, I was willing to shop around until he threw in the service. I've always wondered what it would be like getting the best. 
just the same. I'm calling up a history of methane prices since we've been gone. Just what you need. Something else to do. Relax. I'll be done in an hour. At least there's nothing left of the garden to tend. Everything checks out okay. The Lord has blessed us with no measurable methane losses. Stopping the heat losses must have taken care of that. There were several frozen lines, but they're flowing now. Did your search turn up anything? That's weird. Weird. Of or pertaining to the supernatural. You find something spooky in all those numbers? Maybe I have. This I gotta see. That's just it. There's nothing to see. Prices rose steadily, but only slightly, until a couple of weeks ago. The Royals are paying nearly double market price. I just don't get it. For what? Well, stop and think. What are they getting out of this? Our goodwill? Hardly. The Lunar Delegation would probably like to confiscate everything we own under the guise of some new taxes. That's exactly what they did to the Cortez. If it had come back, it would have been seized for taxes without the Royals ever putting a dime into it. Why should they care what we think? I don't know, but it's rather obvious that they do. So, what are they getting out of this? As much methane as possible, as soon as possible. But why is that important? Basic economics. Quantity or quality of product. What's fueling the demand? Oh, no you don't. We haven't got enough time to search for some two-paragraph story buried on page 210 of three weeks ago's info sheet. Did you ask, Victor? No. He'll tell me. If he knows. Victor will know. Call him up. When? Right now. Okay. Victor? Uh, thanks for the quick response. Why are you giving us this deal? You're as direct as ever. I thought a few decades of marriage would mellow you somewhat. So, what's the deal? I'm not allowed to tell you. What I can tell you is that you'd better not shop around. Why? Some people want to seize your ship outright. I was able to convince them that you would be far more disposed to help us, and we must have your help. You're persuaded and not coerced. So, you're not going to let us shop around? We cannot stop you from doing anything you want. But they will make you sorry if you resist. Resist? Poor choice of words. Please, forgive me. Have they got any information about Titan's atmosphere that we don't have? What? Why? Well, what difference does that make? They either want the methane, or they want something that we're bringing back as an impurity. Since we ourselves don't know what's mixed in, do they know something we don't? No. I, I mean, of course we can't know everything someone else knows, but we've studied this for years. Every probe sent out contradicted every other probe. They can't be sure of anything. So they need the methane. And we need the money. Sounds like a good market economy. We also need to stay alive. The royals don't murder to get their way. They tax, and taxes can murder by slow starvation. So you think that we should take their offer and not try to find out why? I don't think that we have much choice. We certainly don't have enough time to look for a hidden clue. You're certainly right about that. 